relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. See, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah, but it gets you better. You need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good, but this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I can be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man, school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. All right, what's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. Uh, WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution being podcasted. This is the Corona episode. Uh, no, it's, it's not the Corona episode. I, I, it's not the issue of whether or not it's a Corona episode. It's the background you've chosen to. <laughs> Yo, because I didn't want to catch the Corona, so I went to Mars, nigga. Oh, boy. All right, so for those of you who are, are <laughs> listening but can't aren't seeing the feed, Dante has discovered the uh, virtual background. <laughs> In the Zoom, and he's chosen to uh, continue. Right, I'm back. Oh, you're I'm back. back. You're I back teleported in the back into the studio. Oh, cool, because you were in space for a minute. I was in space. I was on the dark side of the moon. Play the five chance. Why, are they, why do, they, do they do a lot of popping and locking on the they moon? Because that's what I was, you were doing. I was in space. There was no gravity. You oh, know what I mean? I didn't even realize it started. Oh, like, you didn't even know? For a minute. <laughs> Can you hear? No. Yeah. <laughs> Dre, I was in, you missed my whole shit while I was in space. I was in space with no zero gravity. You see, you feel me? You look like Thanos now for real. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I was like, in space, this is like no zero gravity. Like a gay Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he snapped. <laughs> Bitch, bitch, so bitch, the world. bitch. Uh-uh. Captain America, bitch, 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 <laughs> Thor, bitch. <laughs> kill him, kill him, assassinate, bitch. What's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling? How y'all holding up? Am I talking mad loud or no? I- no, you're not loud. Andre's a little bit loud. We're, we're trying to figure this out. This is our first uh, one that we're doing via uh zoom that we figured out how to do so we're all in our separate dante's back at the studio in his home wait wait i'm back i was gonna be oh. teleport back oh, from there space. you go sorry you were just yeah, in space in space again hey back at the studio yeah y'all didn't know that's the other feature for it's my so, truck it's it's, it's 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 a spaceship when you discover a new toy it's a little <laughs> bit it's a little bit difficult to deal with because i know that it's just going to keep going well, that's how it worked with my penis. That's oh, shit. Fair enough. I discovered how it worked. That I'm, was it. That's how it started. That was it. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm doing good here. We it's... are recording the first show, the virtual show. Yeah, and hopefully it sounds good. We're, we've tried to work on fixing it. I mean, usually we like to have the studio and stuff, but we we managed to sneak one in before the uh before they basically yeah, before shut down the whole New York shit, City. Shut down New York City and and the game is changing, man. I actually had um I had a couple of people um die on me. Friends of mine die on me. I mean, shout out to uh, I I'm I'm not I'm I don't know if this is rumored or not. Should I say that or no? If it's rumored, but, I, but it's also might not be corona related. We still have no info. Yeah, Vic Henley passed away. Good friend Holy of the show. Shit. I think, I think. Um, he was on life support and he was in ICU. So if he, I, you know, oh, whatever. Dude. Just we love that dude. One of the, one of the night, one, one of those dudes who you just, nobody has anything bad to say about. You know what I mean? Not yeah, even that's me. That's not good news if it, if it did happen. We had a couple people who are, that we know who have yeah. passed away from it. I know that, uh, uh, that the Chario, the waiter, Chario, the waiter at at at, uh, Dangerfield. at Dangerfield passed away. 
which doesn't mean much to anyone listening, but if you're part of the New York comedy scene, yeah, that it's dude just, is there. It, it, there's a camaraderie about everybody yeah. in this. I mean, it doesn't matter even if they're not, uh, we're not close to them. They're part of the family. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's Former. even though, even though it was the only, only thing that was keeping him alive, he was like 90 something years old, but the only thing that was keeping him alive was racism. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he's like our little racist uncle. You know so what I mean? I, I guess you're not going to be delivering the eulogy at the. I, uh, I would deliver Chario's eulogy. I like Chario, even with his. You know, I mean, the motherfucker's ninety. Like, come on, he probably owned slaves at one time. Well, he's broke, so you know he snitched on slaves at least. <laughs> <laughs> he he worked on rounding up he runaway round, yeah. slaves. He rounded up runaway slaves, so you know. Dre, how you feeling? You're not good, huh? Dre's not feeling good. But Dre's Jamaican, so he don't get the corona. He gets the dragon stout. Yeah. <laughs> the, re the, the red Guinness, stripe? The Guinness of the red stripe. Hopefully, that's uh, all I got is some good old red stripe runner. Red stripe. You got some red stripe. Red stripe. Harry, right. how are you holding up? Like, I'm been I've been doing all right. You know, I got uh, some elderly people. I got my grandpa. I'm more, I'm more worried about him. I'm fine. I've been yeah. I've been enjoying this. This nice uh, being in the house. I don't mind it. You know, yeah. it doesn't bother me as much. I've been writing a bunch. So it right. hasn't affected me too much. But I do worry about, you know, everyone around me, my parents. It's, it's odd. You have all this time now. Yeah. But yeah. like I'm not I don't get to see or like, you know, you're like, ah, let me go visit my family like. They're 20 minutes away, but yeah. we're just not we're trying to be smart and just adhere to the whole thing, which is yeah. there. I don't know what it's going to take for some people to figure it out over here. Dude, I heard this. I don't know if I tell you, I heard this dude. There was this reverend in uh, in fucking Louisiana. Or something. he was like, I'm giving church because God's going to say, watch what Corona do to that ass. <laughs> See, watch, watch God look the other way when you when you when you on a respirator getting ready they getting ready to cut that shit off because somebody younger than you came along and they feel like your life is is worth more. So he he's like, I'm not shutting down. I've been fined. I don't the the, the Bible. Shut up, stupid. You stupid. Any yeah. of you motherfuckers. This is the problem, dog. This is the problem with this. People don't they don't understand critical thinking. You know what I mean? Like. They don't understand that critical thinking is a skill set. Um, if you learn critical thinking, you can make better decisions. Um, what some of the what I mean by when I say critical thinking, people don't understand, but critical thinking is actually a way in which you solve problems in terms of so you have a problem, you present what the problem is or the objective that you're trying to get to. Then you do the research on how to what 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 is the outcome it's kind of what i say all the time about you know your brain works as a gps that you you you, you put a stick pin in and then your brain automatically starts to work towards um towards achieving the goal yeah but if you don't if you haven't asked yourself what is the goal then you don't know what to take action you know you know like we we've been working on this um on this on this you know working this uh streaming thing to get so we could keep this show going because well what are we seven years now huh seven years seven years have never missed never a missed fucking a episode in seven years i don't think any many people could say that that's the truth and nobody i mean well, well andre just... you've missed a couple episodes let's let's be honest yeah, i'm saying not a lot of people can say that including yeah. me oh okay good, good. <laughs> especially me <laughs> i am the president of that club Oh, okay. Listen, <laughs> not me. Say that ink. Chloe Hillier did more episodes than you, uh, Dre. <laughs> <laughs> and she's that been was on, me in a wig, nigga. <laughs> and she's been on. She's been on twice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the uh, but understanding that critical thinking and how to how to solve problems, like you gotta understand what's the object, what's the thing that you're trying to re get to in the first place. Like if you haven't right. made a decision about what your happiness is you you just never going to you never going to get there so i'm saying that to say this like i want to i don't you know i'm always shitting on everybody especially my boys uh dre and and harry but let me say something harry's been working out every day yeah since the corona shit right yeah and and it was kind of cocky kind of <laughs> cocky took his shirt off that is dead. true on it like now here's here's the thing, we all got, I mean except for Dre, fuck you, but we all got a long way to go, right? But tell me this, Harry, 
I was thinking about this, and I wanted to talk to you about it on. Oh, sure, yeah. I was we were fooling around. We were fooling around, but but there's never a situation where you would have took your shirt off, even fooling around. Rarely, probably not. No, never. I still won't do it now because it's shoulder hair mostly. Because I haven't been. Here's the thing: ladies don't shave your legs and your bush. For dudes, that's the equivalent of that is shoulder hair. Shoulder hair. Shoulder back hair, hair, back yeah, hair. Nigga, you, yeah, you, 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 you'll I see. don't know if you, Jamaican niggas is not really that hairy, but that's true. But some of them, some, some, oh, you, know, you got some uncles with a little shoulder hair when they wear their fishnet. The fishnet. <laughs> they wear their fishnet uh, tank top. <laughs> niggas have a loose, yeah. Plus they also darker, so you don't see it. It's but hard to it. see it. Yeah, anyway, but so, but yeah, uh, would I have to probably not? No, but I've been working out. It's helped my confidence. I started working out right before all this went down like i was one of the last guys at yeah. the gym so Damn, i was like just before you get abs you can't go outside yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i figured out a way to maintain some level of workout i got i had weights i got some weights from my brother because he works out and all that so i'm i've been trying to make sure i use this time wisely instead of clearing my netflix i don't page. know if you, i don't know if you saw this uh dre but this motherfucker got natural traps did you notice that yeah, yeah, yeah. He got natural trade. Got traps. He got traps. That's got his gift. Traps. That's his gift. But I'm just saying, it's at a, at a point when you know that you're putting in the work, even though you haven't achieved your goal. Like I'm saying, Still right? Dre, he he would have never pulled his shirt off, even That's as a true. joke, yeah, right? Yeah. And it just it was something that I thought about. It's funny. I've been thinking about it for a couple of days, and I was like, wow, like Harry's yeah. really. He's really on this path now because if he wasn't on the path, you wouldn't have that kind no. of confidence. You know, people, when I take my shirt off, people do think about it a lot, one way or the other, <laughs> through the years. But I, yeah, you know, it's part of just something I've been trying to do. And it's look, it still sucks, by the way, just so everybody knows. I'm not pretending that I love working out. I like lifting weights, but everything mm. else about it still is hard work. Like my body's still getting used to it. Yeah, but it's I do feel like at least I did something, even if it's a shitty workout. Right. Right. And I don't feel like I pissed away the day, which is a major thing for me. And I think a lot of other people, it, it's you just you don't feel as bad when you you you're doing something towards a goal, even if it doesn't get you there. Right. Absolutely. And I've been I've been on the elliptical. I've been jumping. I've been getting up at five o'clock in the morning, getting on the elliptical. Good. Trey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, you come here. Oh, I hope you know, Dre stop working. I hope Dre comes out of this fatter and then I <laughs> and then I slim down. So we meet in the middle somewhere. But no, you're flexing. Well, you've been keeping your homework. Well, you never had a gym membership anyway, though, right? You were always nah, working, working the park and shit. Right? Yeah, like I had gym memberships here and there scattered. Or I'll do like one or two day passes if I wanted to like lift some heavy shit, but never really gym, gym, gym. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like calisthenics better body weight stuff and things like that i was so cool. uh i was figuring out the uh this because my gym actually shut down unrelated to the coronavirus because i really? had a gym close to my house not in enough Jersey people city no it wasn't enough people it was, it was just a shitty ghetto gym in they the just sense. decided are we shutting this shit down they, they say they blame the landlord but i'm sure if you ask the landlord it's He'd probably like these motherfuckers <laughs> wasn't paying shit right. but you know how that goes they always put up a piece of paper and be like uh we'd love to keep going but the landlord is being unreasonable but this gym was like I saw a dude, uh, a lot of dudes lifting weights recklessly, no form. <laughs> I, I saw one dude working out with another dude. One guy was wearing uh, Timberland boots and the other guy was wearing slides with uh, tube socks. And I'm still not sure who was training who <laughs> in that situation. It was Nike Timberland slides. Boots win. Timberland I guess. Yeah, I know dudes that like, I, I ain't gonna front. I know a lot of dudes that prefer working out yeah. in attempts because yeah. uh, it gives you, especially when you're lifting heavy weight, it gives you a foundation. Really? Like if you get a, if you do a good, if you do a good track sneaker or something and you go anything over 300 pounds, the sneaker rolls. Oh, that's why you so that's fucks why up they have your, special weightlifting shoes, I guess. Yeah, those, right, fair I enough. mean, those, I have weightlifting shoes. Weightlifting shoes are flat as shit. They are, they're a wedge underneath your heel, so it yeah, pushes yeah. you forward, so you don't push backwards. And it gives it's just a, there's a strap that goes over to keep the to keep the stability of the. And they're not comfortable. No. Like they they they're made in. Look, I'm gonna put some weight. Like I I I mean my best my best squat. I, if you check my Twitter, well my 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 Twitter picture is I don't think it's my best, but it was uh. You looking for it, Harry? 
the top, uh, the top of the tw- the top of the Twitter picture. I've seen it. I've seen it. It's uh, it's where well, you're you're doing um a squat, right? Yeah, I'm. Uh, let me see if I can find a motherfucker. But in Probably the like meantime, five, six plates on each side. Now, when you it do like that seven, type of, eight, seven, what is eight. that? The, is it the clean and jerk or? I guess no, no, like, I was just straight squatting. Just straight squatting. Yeah, I was squatting. When you do that, like. Do you build up the rest of the muscles just to do that? Because I know I've seen Cena do it. Like uh, it's one once of those... you're able to lift up 500 pounds. Yeah. Like I and you can only you know whatever you can only do it what once or twice. No, yeah. dog. I was I was I did I did uh, nine plates for nine and a half reps. Jesus. That's why your back hurt. Yeah, that's why your back. Yeah, that's why I'm all fucked up now. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm oh, okay. Dead, but so I'm you gonna... can't do it, but you shouldn't do it because it'll destroy your back. I mean, look, I was younger. I mean, my back is real fucked up because of all the fat bitches I was picking up. You know, mm-hmm. I, I used to pick up huge women on stage, you know, on, during stage. Here it is. Let me see. How do I share the fucking screen? Uh, on the bottom, it should say share screen. All right. Let me get to that. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All I want to do is zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, zoom. Share screen. Can I share the screen? You should be able yeah, to. Here it is. Let's see. Oh, there you are. So is that one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven. seven? Oh, you said nine. But, You're a bitch. That, no, this is. <laughs> a, well, this is. I said that this is not the grit, the best. This is not my best. This was that like workout like weight. Bitch shit to me. <laughs> this was workout. You know, like I was working out at this time. Uh, oh boy. Uh, and I was doing like seven plates. But what happens is yeah. you start to Dre will contest this. What happens is I was always lifting heavy. Like when I started, it was like when I first like really started squatting, it was like three hundred pounds, like three three fifteen, which is like three or four, but three or five. Been, you were working out before then. Yeah, yeah, right but I never okay. really pushed that hard. You know, in terms of doing heavy weight, and then I started doing it. And then I got what, but I had been doing it for so many years that my tendons got so strong. And that's what happens is when your tendons are strong, you don't, you know how, like when you pick up heavy weight, how you feel panicked, mm-hmm. like you might not be able to make it. I don't know if you ever went that heavy, Harry, but you I know mean, what I'm talking about, Dre. You feel, oh, not, yeah. not panic, but you're just like, no, I'm, I'm talking about panic. Like when you put seven plates on your back, you're, you, you're, you oh, have you yeah. Have, yeah. <laughs> you're literally going you're going oh shit hey what at what phase into the working out do i get to start yelling like in grunting oh every time as soon as you go over four plates you can yell you're allowed to yell <laughs> when you when you when you do seven eight plates the gym stops oh they everybody sh- that's true. Like, people start watching well here's the but thing three- that's a, that that photograph is from what like 1996 like you, that, that wasn't a cell phone picture uh, or whatever that show that's no i would that was during during comedy so probably 2007 8 yeah. oh that's that but that's a photograph that's not from a phone so that's how back in the day people would stop and take pictures and shit. <laughs> it was a phone you fuck it was a phone <laughs> It was, uh, a phone. No, it was a on guy, my trail. He used to, he used to stand my up on the type. He it put on my... a wooden tripod and then he put the <laughs> curtain over his head and then I he said, shot a flash this? Bulb. I just took I took the lens off and then put it back. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, but you get so yeah, strong. Yeah. Yeah, the, you get so it's like poof, right? Yeah. The uh but you get so strong that your tendons get strong and then regular lightweight doesn't feel like nothing even when you're working out. Yeah. So I had to, as I got older, I had to I had to start to go, OK, I, I can't go. I, I you get so accustomed to going to that limit that you can't not go to the limit. You know what I mean? It becomes mm-hmm. addicting in a weird way. You want to yeah. keep topping yeah. yourself because you get so excited that you're able to, uh, at least from my end as a newbie to a con- yeah. you get. I like, did nine plates for Jesus. nine reps. Like and I, I mean, tried to go that high and we would we would like I was. From the first one, I was like, oh, I'm going to (laughs) die. Then you go down and you come back up and you go, all right, let's do it again. And you go down, you come up and you go, all right, I guess I'm still alive. Let's do it again. And then you keep going. Then on the ninth one, I tried to go down and I I just knew I wasn't going to make it. So I just kind of leaned forward and racked it and dropped the whole thing. Boom. And then, you know, the bar, after you do that, the bar bends. The bar is no good for nobody anymore. (laughs) But you do... (laughs) You do uh it works nice because it bends nice on your shoulders and fits on your on your traps and shit. But they but
but motherfuckers stop. They stop. Like when you do four or five plates, they peek at you from right. the window. They'll look at the reflection. Right. But when you go past five plates, they go, all right, yo, I want to see this. Fuck it this. It depends on where you at, though. If you at a legit gym with other people who's jacked. Seven plates, out, they go, they go stop. That, but yeah, but I'm even saying, at a legit gym. That's what I'm saying. The yeah, lower yeah. you, the worse gym you go to, the lower plates you need yes. to create that same crowd. At a yeah, Planet yeah, yeah. Fitness, you pick up a 45 dumbbell, they like, wow, this guy's yeah, bugging. Yeah, guy's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This guy's crazy. What this is, is look, about? I'm going to get some pizza. Yeah. What, <laughs> what is it about? Like some people, I feel like that gym lifestyle, people just hanging out though. I feel like there's a lot of people. Yeah, social. Absolutely. What's social about? Just Dude, my, my partner that I worked with in the phone company for, I worked with him for 20 years. Um, like he worked out, but I'm saying he loved going into the gym. And at one time we were doing this, we were doing that, Dre, we was doing that heavy duty workout where you do. Mensa. You do, yeah, Mike Mensa's workout where you do three exercises uh, to failure. Just yeah. three exercises are heavy. That's how I ended up going heavy. And we would do that and we would get gains from it. But he would sneak back in the gym when I wasn't around. Like he would go twice because he just didn't feel like he had did enough. So it becomes addictive, you know? Oh, yeah. He also has a double hip replacement, double knee <laughs> replacement, <laughs> and two shoulder replacements. So now he, he can't, you know, he can't do shit. But no I mean, but, but when he did the fucking, he had the two knees done, he, he was still leg pressing 600 pounds. Jeez. Wasn't you know? I mean, it legs could have fell out of his body, but whatever. But I, my you point was, that. my point was, Harry is dick. You know, like it's it's an interesting thing that you you know. I just noticed that that you putting in the work, yeah, changed your whole perspective. You know, Some results from it a little bit. You know, I yeah, feel things feeling better, and I can see the traps and stuff forming, and so yeah. that part builds a little confidence. But I'm definitely. It's not like I should be taking my shirt off. I no, haven't but done I mean, enough where all of yeah, a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, now but, I'm, I'm going to be walking around with my shirt off all but day. That's the, like, but that's, but yeah. that's, that's really the, that's my point. My point was that you knew that you had did the work and because you were done in the work, you were, you were bulletproof. It's not to say that yeah. you were in, you're not in the place that you want to be, but all of a sudden you're in a different place. Mentally, you're in a different place where is if you wasn't doing shit, you would have never even did. That. You would have never not nah, even as a joke, not even as a joke. No. Nah. You know, and nah. that that's nah. the difference, um, which is which is an interesting thing is like I've been I've really been on this. I mean, Harry talked about this, just learning logic, like being a better, a more logical person and. Yeah. So I've been reading a couple of books on critical thinking, and I've been looking at a lot of videos on on logic and how to execute for the logical fallacies and and the red herrings and the straw man and the uh, ad hominem attack. Just learning all of these different terminologies and what they are and, and how people use them. But learning critical thinking is the problem. I mean, this is why we have people who are not. Uh, quarantining. They're not social distancing. It's it's they they're not logically looking at what the facts are. You know what I mean? And by the way, even uh, state governors and things oh, yeah. not shutting stuff down. Presidents, presidents, presidents not shutting shit down. Open shit by Easter. <laughs> the fucking idiot in in uh, the 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 British Trump was like, uh, of Boris, course I'm going to uh, shake. Uh, Boris Nelson, 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 whatever the fuck is Yeltsin, what's his name? I forgot Boris, what his name. Uh, 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 why do I Kojo. know his? Huh? Boris Kojo. Boris. I no, no. What his name? Is. That like, has to do from every black. Yeah. Uh, uh, All black movies. <laughs> for every black movie, he, he always he Johnson. Boris Johnson. Boris, yeah. So he he um he was like, but of course I'm going to shake Keep people's, shaking people's hands. hands, and now this motherfucker got the corona. You already got the corona, right? And he's in intensive care. Yeah, man. Is, he's shit, in intensive man. care now? Uh, that's what they said. Yeah, move to intensive care with coronavirus. Uh, he's a fucking good oh, for him. I mean, I hate to say good for him, but it's a fucking nah, fuck idiot. Him. I don't care. I'm now yeah. I'm jealous of England again, but that's neither here nor there. Why are you jealous of England? Well, how come they get their guy has to go in? Yeah, oh, you. <laughs> I was trying to say it without saying it. <laughs> I want to yeah. hear it. 
I want to you hear know it. What I mean, I, yeah. but yeah, it's it's Look, I've been trying. I've got a lot of positive people in my life, and it's hard <laughs> because I still try to be like evil. Eh, yeah, I'm just like I hope I hope so and so gets it. I don't mind if so. You can't say that. Yeah, I, I don't want everyone to get it. But if you if listen, if you show up at a church after everything you've read, after you all seen the that guy, you seen talk about that guy. I don't know which guy? There's a bunch of guys. There's, there's one. A, guy, there's a lot of them in Florida, by the way, which. Always, yeah. whenever our fucking country and I live there uh, for a part of my life, anytime there's some fucking problem, Florida is always the last one to sh- ruin shit and just not just make it worse somehow because they were letting spring breakers hang out. These kids were partying on the beach and giving each other yeah. Corona because a bunch of them got it. A lot of them got it. And now they don't even put the uh, stay at home order doesn't uh, doesn't qualify for churches so you can still go to church and you can still hold uh gatherings if it's for religious reasons yeah it's yeah well because it can't tell you not to right i think they can they can they just don't want to wow they did it but the, the church most of the churches like actual churches like the Catholic church or whatever that have been around for hundreds of years, they have all shut down. What it is, is these guys are like individuals who have their own church. Yeah, they're running their own thing. They're running their own tent revival or whatever the fuck. And a couple of, couple of prosperity preachers. I don't know you the know. difference of prosperity preacher. Explain that. Prosperity preachers are the preachers that tell you uh, the, the way you, you, you know, you, you could be uh, rich. Uh, like, so, you know, if you believe in, you know, in religious, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, Don't stray too far away from that, Mike Dante. It's, I'm not. I'm uh, yeah. just looking for trying to get to this thing. Um, this video I'm trying to get to. It's weird because uh, I know we can't hear ourselves. Yeah. Um. Okay. Florida pres- arrested for defying safer home order. This is, this is crazy. Hold I mean, on. Let just, me. See. There's a lot of people not using. Wait, I got brain. the video. Hold on. Let me see if. It won't Hold play on. audio, by the way. If we play. It won't play the audio. Oh, uh, yeah, it's good though. You could, we could do this. Hold on, let me see. If you want to show it, but there's a Hold lot on. of people just not Hold on. using here. You got it. Hold on. Okay. Let's yeah, it's got the. the... I said this has to be the safest place. Uh, if you cannot be safe in church, he says. Uh, you're in serious trouble. Yeah, well, you're in serious trouble. Serious trouble. We are not stopping anything, he says. As he walks into the crowd, by the way. I got news for you. This church will never, never close. close. The only time the church is closed, he says, is when the rapture's taking place. Motherfucker's happening now. A fucking idiot. You know, the Bible school is open because we're raising up, uh, not pansies. So if you pansies. socially distant your pansies, your pansies. Rodney you Howard Brown. too that some people catching this shit because they went grocery shopping. Yeah. Because they picked up a can of beans on the thing and we don't know that for sure. I'm you sure mean, that's you don't know it. You talking know about the research? It's there. They I know have that, that happens, but I understand that, you know, at least that that's unavoidable to some degree. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't think he's disagreeing with you, Harry. I'm just yeah. saying, I, what are you saying, Dre? Because yeah, if, saying, you, like, if you can catch about... it picking up a pair of beans, why would you put yourself under that level of risk? Yeah, you shouldn't be going to a church. But I'm saying there's also sides where fuck, you just walked past something. You you, you, you touched the wrong thing. And it's, no, it, it's, it's no weird. Doubt. Man. No doubt, but the, the difference is that's where critical thinking comes in, Andre. I think yeah. about that all the time. Every time I go out to get groceries for myself or for my grandfather, I have to go, okay, what am I doing? And I and do I put on the gloves? Do I put on the mask? Do I put on the gloves? I see people with the gloves on, but you're touching the shopping cart anyway. Yeah. And then you're touching the groceries. And then they do they do the clean the 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 I mean, I've seen them clean the shopping cart handle and they've been doing that. I mean, motherfuckers have been pretty diligent about That's it. But I mean, so but you don't know bag, the you guy. Food, yeah. You take it home. It's in the bag. Yeah. You know, you're not wiping down each individual item. And That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, though. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to. Dante, Harry, 
<laughs> oh, I, I don't. I admit that I don't wipe I down everything. Been. I wiped down some of it. I'm washing it down. I'm wiping everything down. I wiped um, but down I mean, I got a little baby here, so I'm trying to, you know, I keep him you. safe. So, But also, I mean, that's where critical thinking comes in. I have to uh, analyze what is the cost consequence to all this. You know, it's like, okay, you know, I can go out and into the supermarket. I have to do it. All right, that's fine. I'm not going to go out and hang out with my friends. I'm not going sound out. lower, Harry. I don't know why I'm not. Is it? Uh, am I? Uh, I didn't I change know. anything. You sound a little lower. Yes, Dre. He sounds a little lower. Uh, am I lower? I feel like you the same. Okay, the same. my bad. Okay. Maybe it's just me. But you. But all right. So here's some things that I've seen people do throughout this whole thing. Like mm. I went to the supermarket and one guy was wearing full hazmat suit. Same trip, by the way. Yeah. When everything started to go down and people lost their shit. Mm. Full hazmat suit with the breathing gimmick on the face. And then yeah, they're, there they're there buying pound cake or whatever at the checkout line. And I'm like, listen, if, if this is so scary, why, why are you buying, buying pound, pound cake? cake? <laughs> why are you buying pound cake? And then next to him was a crazy lady with a plastic bag that she was just holding the plastic bag over her mouth like that was going to do anything. Not tied around her mouth, yeah, yeah. but just literally like palming it. And you just also nobody's staying six feet away, too. That's no. the other thing. They're doing like, it now. They're doing it now. Still, I got news for you. Either if the supermarket doesn't make you do it, people aren't standing six feet from each other in the checkout line. I find that people are ch making that attempt because here's, you know, the thing is, you know, with me, because, you know, I got a, a couple of years before I, I put my retirement papers in with this mm. fucking whatever. But I mean, <laughs> all the motherfuckers that thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm still getting my check. So either yeah. day. Um, <laughs> but, you know, because the phone company is is necessary, is one of those necessary things. You, you, you know, that's how you. It's essential. It's deemed essential. Not only that, but we would out, we would, uh, you know, we a lot of dudes were, were setting up the, 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 what you call it? The, um, the Javits Center. Oh, okay. The internet yeah. and stuff for the Javits Center and those extra hospitals and stuff. But my thing is, um, you, 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 it's just not logical. It's illogical to have a hazmat suit on and then come out to buy pot, pound cake. It's, it's illogical to have, to be concerned about this and then don't even put a plastic bag over your face, which does it like, it just doesn't make any sense. It's no. a funny thing when, um, you know, I don't know if people remember, but do you remember when Tylenol got tampered with? Some, they put cyanide or something in the Tylenol. Do you remember that? There was some story where, yeah, uh, there were. Well, the story was a thing where they pulled Tylenol off the no, shelves. No, you don't remember that? Happened. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember it, but I saw a documentary on it because it turned out that somebody was doing it. Somebody was trying to poison somebody, but it was all in one store, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know, but I know that there were there was tampering. And so, all, you know, when you buy a bottle, of a bottle of Tylenol now, you got, you know, you got the, the, the protective turn thing for kids. You got the seal and then the it's plastic. wrapped in plastic. They didn't have that then. They didn't have that then. Um, but uh, it's a uh, it's a weird thing because. What when you look at that documentary, what they what the company did was they took all of those pills off the off the off the shelves and then they apologize uh uh and then they they came out with all these other um uh all these other like tamper proof packaging right right and what they were saying about the whole thing was that oh it was the chicago tylenol mur murders 1982 yeah that's why you don't remember it yeah so andre was two i wasn't uh, born I was right born. Oh, you I weren't was, even born I right a month old all right. So there was they, they so what they did was they took all the stuff off the off the shelves. They created all this tamper proof packaging, which you see on everything now. Yeah. But the thing about it was the guy was taking a hypodermic needle and he was using a hypodermic needle to put the poison in the in the bottles. So it didn't even. It, so all of the tamper proof stuff didn't matter. No, it was just so that people could feel comfortable. And the fact that Tylenol took responsibility for what it did like they uh, they said we fucked up we should have done more we, we and they they took everything off the state they lost money by taking all the products off and they restocked the shelves with this tamper proof stuff and then everybody still uses Tylenol like that never happened right 
because the logic reality of it, it could have been Tylenol. It could have been Advil. It could have been it could have been uh, a fucking, um, I don't know, Vicks Vapor Rub. It could have been anything. The, so the Tampa, the, the idea of that there's things that are going to happen where people are going to do horrible things. But those are isolated cases. But you still have to make people feel comfortable about the, the their trust in you. You know what I mean? And that's what what Tylenol actually did was they took the trust of um, they took the trust of people and they took responsibility for it. And then people just used them again as a as they started using Tylenol. Yeah, it took a little time, but there's nobody. I never heard anybody say I don't I'm not using Tylenol because of the Chicago poison scale. Nobody's saying that. And and what the interesting thing is, you know, people are afraid to fly, but more people die doing uh what you call driving. it doing, doing driving um, driving yeah you know um, get killed by cars and so when you critically when you start to use critical thinking and you start to think about what what's the real parameters of what's going on like one of the things that that was interesting even for me about the corona thing was that um you know so what are we up to like five thousand people died or something like that in new york you mean yeah, or uh, in new york i'm um, no in, 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 in the states the in the states in the states i think but here's here's what's even interesting about that question. I'm going to ask both of you this and tell me what you how many how many people do you think die every day in the United States of America? By anything, by, you know, just die, you wake up tomorrow and there's a bunch of motherfuckers. They have a list of motherfuckers that die. Guess how many people die every day? Uh, I don't know. Like. I would say 10,000. What do you say, Dre? A day, every day, huh? 500. 7,000 people on an average seven that between seven and 8,000 people die every okay. day yeah. of everything, old age, cancer, whatever. Right. So in the grand scheme of things, when you when you talk about something where in the United States where 500 people are dying every day. Right. right. Com well, they're, they're dying in a day. 500 people, the percentage of that 500 is it's a big percentage. 500 is a big percentage of 7,000. Mm -hmm. So, but in the grand scheme of things, 500 is nothing compared to 7,000 people that die that will wake up tomorrow. We we were just talking about Vic Henley. We don't even know if Vic Henley, if it was Corona related, you know? Sure. Um, and even if it was Corona related, probably it was, probably, but I, I, I was just telling you one of my boys in the phone company, his son died, he was like 15 years old. Had asthma, caught the corona, and he's fucking done. When I see you, bang, out, done. So it's a it's an interesting thing. Um, so what what I've been thinking about is a lot is death in uh, in the context of the reality of death. Like death is ever present at the at I mean at any given day you could be one of that seven thousand. So here's the the only thing. Uh, the deaths, by the way, corona cases in the United States, uh, three hundred sixty four thousand deaths. Uh, about oh, it's ten thousand seven hundred ninety-two, so almost eleven thousand deaths. Right now, granted, you're right. It in the and that's the thing a lot of people have been saying. But it depends how you use that information too, because the problem is there's people justifying. Well, yeah, yeah, like using that information to go more people die from the flu and blah blah blah, which is great. I get it, but that's right. not. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. And ultimately, the way this is so aggressively going after people. If we do if nothing, you do, it'll out. If you do nothing, it will out. Right. It, it could double what's going on. If when you talk about critical, critical thinking, I don't know how you can teach it. You know, I, I mean, it's just you, I feel like people have it or they don't because just no, they, you can teach it. You yeah. can. Te I, I mean, let, let's be honest, Harry. I mean, you know, when we talk about, you know, you, you've been online when I've done consultations Dre yeah. you ever been on 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 a, with me when I, I was doing so. a concert never not in the car or nothing hanging out oh yeah, yeah yeah definitely yeah okay so what happens is I practice reading the cues of everything that a guy says when I'm a guy or a girl and they're having relationship problems and they talk to me I'm I'm I'm, I'm so and Harry you're the same way like what you'll find is Somebody will say, yeah, well, you know, a guy, you'll get a guy and he'll say, yeah, well, if my girl lets me and we go yep. boom, it's instantly, that's an, a, a, a red flag that right. pops and we go, oh, this is the problem. Like, and then, oh, you know, league. I was just keep, right or they're out of my league. We get that a lot. Yeah. And then people you'll say to a guy, you'll say, well, what, what, what do you mean? Oh, I was just kidding. I'm, nah, now nah, you, you weren't like that's nobody who 
nobody that ha- is, who's not afraid of his girl says that. Not even in a joking manner. There's no like, what's the, what's the point in saying that? What's the as point of being a, as a joke if you don't if that's not how you are? You know what I mean? You just wouldn't say that. Yeah. So it, it's it's an interesting thing. Is like it's not that critical thinking is can't be taught. I I, I agree that some people, uh, but it's it's a process. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's a process. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean, it, it's just I I wonder with some of these people out there. I mean, you see it now with the way humanity behaves. The spring breakers going. Ah, I'm not gonna let this thing ruin my good time. I mean, and it's also, but it is also, ca- like the consequence analysis. If this was a flesh eating bacteria, I guarantee you everyone sure. would listen. But people And Ebola wasn't nearly as bad as this was. Uh not in the the rate rate wise. Get and Ebola. We jump and 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 Obama jumped on Ebola. They was on like the CDC was on that shit cuz right, you're right. Motherfuckers was getting it and they were just like Liquifying bleeding it. out their asshole, you know, out their ears and their eyes and shit it was just more dramatic. But it's also, you know, I don't know if kids would really, um, you know, the youth, you, when you're young, you just, you think you're invincible. That's why I was squatting 900, you know, nine plates or seven plates at a time. Cause I was young and I just didn't think, well, I was actually like 40, but, <laughs> but I mean, you, there's a feeling of, of, there's a feeling of invincibility when you have your health, you know? And it's hard to tell somebody, explain to somebody your mort- that your mortality is present. And so even in relationships, we've, and I've seen you do it, Harry, where we'll be, somebody will be saying something, and as soon as they say it, they'll be in the studio and they'll say something, and we go, oh, this is definitely, we already know what that is. Yeah, what the problem is. It right. comes from years of experience of, like, talking to people and just experience yourself and fighting, you know, fighting out of that yourself and learning how to, learning all the clues and everything that you've taught me for sure. All the, like, uh, the tingle in your nuts. Yeah. You don't like something and acknowledging that and going through the fight instead of trying to circumnavigate it. But, but to, to be honest too, it's like, and Andre and I've had that conversation and you and I, there's been a, a lot of times there's been a blind spot that both of y'all have had blind spots about, Something, about yeah. decisions that you made when you already know what the answer is. Sure. Like, I mean, how many times did I tell you, Harry, when you would be like, oh, my weight, my weight, my weight. Yeah. Because of my weight, I can't get this girl. I can't get that girl. I can't. You know what I'm saying? If, right. Whatever. And I would be like, Harry, you don't understand that everything that we do. Right. There's a there's a there's a protocol like there's a there's a checklist. There's a way. And like I say this all the time, weight and looks is not I'm I'm not saying it's not a variable. I'm just saying it's not the only variable. And none of those variables are more important. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Andre's in great shape. And so girls throw pussy at him all the time. That happens all the time. Andre gets to judge Big Ten contests, which I'm not (laughs) right. I'm not saying that as as an exaggeration. I watched that happen. Yeah, Andre, watched, which one of our tits is bigger? And we're like, what the fuck? Harry Ari is like, I want to kick Andre in the face. But it's, I mean, I saw the best part is I saw it from across the room. So it was pantomime. Right, right. So <laughs> it was just, I saw one, two girls just like, blah, 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 blah. And then one of them just squeezing their Pointing. breasts and lifting them. They, they lifting and squeezing it to shaking them for Dre. Yeah. <laughs> and Dre's like, I'm not touching this white girl. She called me yeah. a, a rapist. I'm out. Stay safe. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, but, but that that connection like I can't tell you how many times I argued with Harry. Harry, it's mm. the f- same fucking thing. It's the same thing. And he goes, "Ah, oh, you know, you know, look at this." And he and then he would give me all this anecdotal evidence of how. And and I'm not saying that the anecdotal evidence wasn't the case, and that what there's it, not a what culture. What was was I didn't have the other skill set. So other skill sets. So all I had was that. And so when that's like when you don't have anything like, you know, if, if you're a basketball player and your you know, your jump shot is weak, but you can drive, that's then something. Drive. But if you don't have yeah. anything, then you just start picking at the things you don't have. Right. right. And you feel sorry for yourself. So that's what it really was about was I just didn't have anything going for me in my head because right. I hadn't I, I had lost so much confidence in myself as a human being 
So when I started to build up at least the ability to analyze things and started to, even if I couldn't make something happen, I could see why something happened. Even if I couldn't win, yeah. developing that skill of like, oh, okay, you're, if you're paying attention to your body language, that's, that's a skill. That's at least some skill I can have, and that'll and Well, let me ask you this. When, you, when you did fail, then you blamed it on the weight a lot of times. Sure. Yeah. Right. Because it was the easiest thing to do. It was the do. easiest thing to do, yeah. Which is interesting to see, you know, this is kind of the last, well, this is the second to last thing uh, that I think the second to last thing Harry has an obstacle about. Mm. And it's it's really good to see him overcome and and be consistent with this and, and decide that I'm going to make this sacrifice because this is what I want. And, and just like you said, look, I don't like it. I don't love doing it, but right. you're doing it because the, the object, just understanding that the objective that you're trying to achieve is more important than how much you don't like it. Right. Right. And and this is the one better. thing, one of the things that me and Harry has been fighting about for a long time. And me and Dre talked about it, the arguing because we always wanted it. Oh, yeah, yeah better wanted it wanted you to understand that this is the possibility of changing that is within this scope and and yeah i think we we go yeah on a on a on a cognitive level yeah we know you can change your way and you can change the way you look and what like that but really where you would like i think this could actually happen and then to see you get to the point where you're confident enough to take your shirt off oh, even yeah. in a joking matter it it you know i mean you don't even i don't even think you understand the growth of that Sure. No, I mean, that's 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 a big thing. It's a but big Harry will thing. get that and he'll fight me tooth and nail. Then he'll cross that threshold threshold. And he's like, oh, you know, it's just, I mean, it's it's just, it's, sure. it, and I, but it, I mean, it's I'm still hard. happy. It's hard to get past all that stuff, even if you know the answer. Sometimes I still I'm still very negative, even though I know it's no good for me. Yeah, it's hard to break those patterns. Sometimes it takes years. Yeah. To yeah. undo, I mean, you know, uh, it, it, it's just years of growing up in, either in your family or whatever your background yeah. is. I come yeah. from a real negative family. I mean, my right. mom, I swear to God, my mom today texted well, for the me. Night. Well, she is wild for the night. She ain't as wild, wild uh, right now, though. She's slowing down. She's slowing down a little bit. I think she's got to get the double knee surgery and then she'll be back <laughs> wilding. <laughs> she'll be wilding, wilding out. Night. <laughs> but this morning, I swear to God, she sent me a text. She goes, uh, be careful tomorrow. She texts me. <laughs> I go, why tomorrow? Question mark. She goes, every day. I go, let me get through today before we worry about tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's, that's the environment I come from, right. especially Latino mom. Everything is a, a problem and everything is going to get you killed. Chicken little. I call it the chicken little. Yeah. Like, everything is a problem. Everything is unsolvable. Everything yeah. is the, the sky is falling every day. Um, it sound like that. Yeah, and, and it, it's what's interesting is to when you come with, but it's all the same thing. Sure. Like the weight, the girls, the comedy, your career, your, your finances, your place of birth. I mean, your 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 life, your happiness. All of those things are all all within your 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 your. I was explaining. In fact, I was I was doing a consultation today, and I was saying that. The first thing you have to do, we, we got to want to make do this quick one and get out of here. But the, uh, the first thing you have to do is decide what it is you want to do. Like, don't be jealous of your brother because he's a lawyer, but you never went to law school. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, you got to be I, you might. The jealousy doesn't matter anyway, but it especially doesn't matter if you didn't do anything to to become a lawyer and now you're jealous of somebody because they're a lawyer it's you're just not even in the game that's the first thing so this first step is always decide what your happiness looks like you got to take a little time and decide what your happiness looks like because what happens is we don't think that we don't think our happiness or our goals are reachable and because they're not reachable we don't even define that but it's, I've said this over and over again. If you don't know where you're going, how the if you don't know where you're going, how the fuck are you gonna get there? You, got, you need you, a destination. You, you gotta have a destination. destination. You can't do any, look. Even with this Corona shit, if you say, um, I I, I don't want to catch the Corona, then you have to first you gotta say, okay, that's my goal. I don't want to get sick. 
Then you go, okay, so now you do the best case scenario of reading Love, all the information, sanitizer. the experts, <laughs> or what, what all the experts, how is it transmitted, how do you get it, how you, and then you start, now I'm not saying you can't make mistakes, but I'm saying at the very least, at the very least, you're in a situation where you, you start to move, you move in the direction of, you start to move like you don't want to get sick. You don't go to spring break, you don't go to church. Right. You just, you just you wash your hands frequently. You don't touch your face. You don't do those things because the experts say so. Now, here's here's what's what I've been getting. A lot. I don't know if y'all been getting this on Facebook. Mm. Everybody and their mother sends you some stupid shit. There's a chick that says she could cure cure Corona with a blow dryer. I seen another dude that was he was uh boiling limes and lemons and red onions. Told me you do this and you breathe the thing. They can't understand the heat. Uh, I seen this dude. Uh, in front of um, Marcy Projects, he's on a, on a park bench and he's telling people, yo, this is all about them. They're trying to break down the, the conspiracies of, mm-hmm. of how to, they want to chip, they want to microchip people. And so there is no coronavirus. They want you to give in and they're going to give you the vaccination. And then the vaccination is going to be the microchip. Now, I'm all about the conspiracy. I don't think that this government or anybody is not capable of anything. Here's the thing. You mean I'm a black not, man who's uh, disconcerted about the government? And, uh, and, That's a shock. It's so weird, right? It's so yeah, weird. I don't I know, understand. I, I'm a, Where does I'm this a, come from, Dante? I'm a, I'm a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. Uh, but I would say this. Even when it comes to, to that, here's, I'm not listening to a guy with a fitted cap sitting on a park bench <laughs> in front of Marcy Projects. How did you get this information? How did you... Get this information, dog. You, the you that he bought the fitted from told him. He, it, it, that's, well, clearly, he heard it on how, Facebook. How long before that guy is on a podium next to Trump during one of those press conferences? It's only a, all he got to do is hear. <laughs> he, he got a fitted cap. He, he's in He's telling, yo, y'all, I, I know y'all be, the, what y'all need to do is share this because the company. Now, look, do I think that, that eventually we're going to have microchips? Absolutely. That, that's happening. That is going to They've happen if it's not that, already. Yeah. I mean, they chip dogs now. They microchip dogs where your dog runs away and they can find your dog. Yeah. So it's already happening. Do I think that the government wants to control people? Absolutely. But here's what I'm not doing. I'm not fucking listening to Rommel, what he got to say Ron on a Mello. park bunch in front of fucking, in front of, in front of Marcy Project. I want to hear what he got to say. I'm also not listening to some dreadlock dude with Andre's fishnet tank top. Andre. With the, with, the, with, the, with the fucked up beard and the dreadlocks, he's coming out the bush smoking a blunt, and now he's telling me how to live. Now, I don't know if y'all know Dr. Sebi. Do you know Seb, Dr. Sebi, um, Harry? No, I'm not familiar. Which one's Dr. Sebi? Dr. Sebi's an, Ar- an African guy who, who's basically been an herb- uh, herbologist herbalist. most of his life, an herbalist, and then... Uh, he supposedly have gotten people HIV positive, not HIV positive. And he's dead Cancer now. Which is, and all kinds a, but but here's a dude who 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 has been he has the credibility of spending his whole life studying herbs and teas and different yeah. medicinal, uh, uh, you know, natural medicinal things. So that guy I'm gonna listen to. Right. Yeah. But you, I, I was another guy, this pastor. He was telling, here's what, there is no coronavirus. He goes, it's all a conspiracy. They, they're trying to control you. They kind of, and uh, not to say that that's not true, but dude, you're a pastor yeah. at the first Ebenezer Baptist Church of the number one Christ, the most high, the fruit. Ark of the Covenant, of right? The fruit. Of the fruit of the Ark of the Covenant, first most high, Reverend Pastor of the, most high and the yeah, enlightened yeah. king of the thing on Ralph Avenue. <laughs> I won't listen to that guy's advice, but I will go to that pancake breakfast because that yeah. you, 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 you better go. You better go get some chicken and waffles. You go. Yeah. They got chicken and waffles. Yeah. There. That guy. I'm not telling. I'm not listening to that guy. I, who? The, so the first thing you got to ask is, who am I talking to? Yeah, that's a fact. What's the credibility? Absolutely. Like, that's one of the things where it's like uh, the advice is only valid depending on where it's coming from. 
Right. And if you just it, but this is what we do emotionally, emotionally. Yeah, I'm a conspiracy guy. So this guy, this sound like some shit. They want to microchip, microchip niggas and and, and make them. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I'm in. Stop. Permission bias. Stop sharing this bullshit. Stop sharing it. This is why we have the president that we have. This is why we have people. Because this is why we have preachers who are saying that I'm never closing this church. This is why your whole your whole congregation is going to be dead because that idiot. I'm fine with it. <laughs> that idiot is the guy who's going to go, who's going to tell you this motherfucker who might not even have a high school education, reads his Bible, don't read nothing else. Listen, and he's got this conspiracy. That guy of the first Ebenezer, most high covenant of the ark, most high church pastor, most high deacon. <laughs> deacon of the pastor of the love Double deacon and, and spiritualism. That guy I'm not listening to. I'm not listening to that dude. And that's because he has no credibility. And so stop sharing. I, I get it. It sounds good. Stop sharing this bullshit. You even mean ironically? Because uh, where people not sharing even, ironically? Because uh, people are too dumb to, to they know don't the have difference. The, they don't have the critical thinking to go, oh, this is funny. You got this. I, I, this is a dude from my job sends me. I go, stop sending me Ramel in front of the pig houses. What his philosophy? I don't want to hear it. Who the fuck is he? Now, if you tell me this dude is is a PhD, he's an epidemiologist. He worked in the CIA. He worked, in, and I'm not saying that those things can't be true. I'm just saying I'm not gonna say. I I look at that shit, that conspiracy shit, the same way I look at you when you like your when you talk about your God, when you start telling me. That are you gonna pray for me and that my, your God? By the way, you know what? Even if you break it down, look, and I think neither of us are religious for sure. But even if you break down the stuff they're telling you, like it don't you don't have sense. to, you don't have to go to church to pray. No, I grew up a Christian. You don't have to. You don't need to go into that building. You could do that from yeah. home for free. Yeah, yeah. But people just still. That's why I don't know that you can reach these people. And I get that people like going to church for the fellowship. They like being around each other. They want the, the comfort. Of, we all believe the same thing, but, but you need the validation from other people because you don't believe in yourself. And when you start believing in yourself, you, then you stop looking for this validation from other people who, who don't even have the credibility to give you the validation. By the way, that guy, that preacher or whatever his name is. Um, and if you haven't seen The Righteous Gemstones yet on HBO, it's all about this. So you should definitely check that out. Yeah, but, I just watched it. It was dope. Yeah. Uh, uh, but this guy was also going, listen, I know you lost your job. I know you're home, but don't you stop tithing. Don't you <laughs> stop contributing. That's I don't care. I don't care if you got to text it or email, email the check, email the money. Like he has no idea what PayPal is because he's right, got to right. tell you that. Right. I don't email care what you money. do, but your salvation is not your job. Jesus is your salvation. And it's like, all right. If you listen to that and you want to go in, I don't know what we could do to stop you. But I, I mean, I don't I, I, I don't get this whole, you know, the people they've heard Trump go, yo, we, we going back. We'll be back this weekend. Nobody died. It's going to go away. Right. Oh, it's like the flu. It's like then he goes, it's a pandemic. You see you see video of this motherfucker saying one thing. You see him saying he's still pushing this malaria shit, this malaria drug. There was a lady on TV today, a doctor, a surgeon. She was like, when he goes, use the malaria shit. What do you got to lose? What do you got? Your life. She's like, you're going to die. You, you'll die. You can die from this. You can go into shock taking these drugs. And they're like, he's like, well, let's give it a shot. You know, I got a good feeling. I'm going to tell you, you know, you're a fucking idiot. And everybody who's listening to him is a fucking idiot. You're an idiot and you're a sheep who just keeps on listening to false prophets instead of being a be a prophet yourself. Know what you're talking about or have the ability to say it have the ability to say, uh, listen, I don't know. Like people, I get people all the time who want to talk to me about atheism and how they're going to make me believe. Like, look, here's the thing. If you don't have proof, I'm just not, well, I'm not saying that I don't believe that there's no God. I just have not gotten enough information, enough proof, real 
handheld proof that says to me, I'm convinced that this is the case. Which is the same thing I'm not listening to the dude on the park bench at Marcy Projects. I'm not listening to the preacher who can't even, he can't, he, 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 print, he don't even know tense. He go, he go dim, him, yeah. looked it, <laughs> uh, her, him, dim. He says so, dim with a D. So you're not listening to anyone who looks like Jesus and Mero who aren't <laughs> Jesus and Mero? And Jesus and Mero is smart. They are smart. I'm saying anyone who's not Jesus and Mero but looks like Jesus and Mero. Even if they look like Jesus, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. Okay. And then as soon as I see the, the fucking disconnect, oh, this, oh, this nigga, you got me. You got me. You, I was with you until you told me that the, the cure to, to, to coronavirus is the blow dryer. Yeah. When you when you took the blow dryer out, I don't know if you've seen. Have you seen that, Harry? With yeah. the, I've not seen it yet. The lady with the blow, she says you, 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 it's just ridiculous. It's just not even understanding what a virus is. I mean, at the very least, how about look up what a virus is? How about do that? Uh, can they hear the song or what? I, I think we could hear it. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Hear the joint. It's the new ride out. Uh. Uh. Corona, 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 oh, no, it's Corona, no freestyle. Corona, 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 the world is not ready for this. Corona, quarantine. <laughs> the world's not ready for this. Haven't we suffered enough as a society? You know what? Fuck y'all. Uh, Dre, <laughs> yo, thanks for listening, y'all. Yo, uh, this is our first uh, in the in the in the, in the, in the compound uh, episode. We do Dre. Uh, Kick your fucking social media, Andre D. Thompson, everything, right? That's it, Andre D. Thompson, everything, yo. Yeah, Harry, talk to me. Uh, you could go to my website, IHateComedy.com. Uh, follow at Harry Trajanian. That's all my social media. I don't have any dates, of course, uh, anything, but there's a lot of good content out there, and you can still uh, follow my stuff on Capital Wrestling. We've still got new episodes that we've uh, taped, so come and check it out. If you got nothing going on, check it out. It's a lot of fun, I promise, if you love uh, entertainment. Everything, you know, Instagram, the Dante Nero. Uh, I just got my TikTok, my TikTok uh, oh, no. platform up. So oh, I'm working no. on that now. Uh, you going to be doing the running, man? <laughs> yeah. DanteNero.com. Uh, if y'all need consultations, one-on-one -on -one consultations, hit me and book some time. I know money's a little tight, but whatever. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll, I'm always, when people in need, I'm always cutting motherfuckers a deal. Uh, GYBD gets your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution to be a podcast. I love y'all. Um, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. We are out. Peace. <laughs>